If you're interested in getting into property, this is one of the most important videos you're ever going to watch, believe me. And the reason why I say that is, whenever people go into property, they end up losing money. Uh, that's inevitable. Some small amounts, some large amounts, uh, depending on the type of deals they're doing. Let me share with you one example that uh, I went through. So this is a real uh, live case study about me. Bought a piece of land in Northeast Lincolnshire, had never been there, referred to me by somebody who I knew reasonably well. I was assured uh, we'd get planning on it. Uh, it's 11.8 acres, so a decent piece of land. Bought the land, paid cash for it, applied for planning uh, for, I think six, five bedroom houses with triple garages and on the day we were supposed to find out from the council, I think two days before, three days before, we had about, I don't know, 20 odd uh, complaints or objections from people. Uh, and as I understand it, you want, there's only about six or eight people who live in the village. So I have no idea where all the complaints came from, by the way, but they did. Uh, and the planning was refused. I then went in uh, with a revised plan, new planning consultant, and put in planning for 14 houses. Uh, and my planning consultant was pretty comfortable and confident that we would get the planning applied. And guess what? The planning policy had changed about two weeks before we submitted the application. So when my planning consultant looked, looked at the planning policy, he was pretty confident planning would go through. So we got everything ready. That takes two or three months uh, with the architect and drawings and everything else. He submitted it, but we didn't check the planning policy before we submitted it because you don't expect these things to change that frequently. Anyhow, they did. Planning uh, application went in, poof, straight refusal, it's not going to happen. When the refusal came back, there was something in the refusal which my planning uh, consultant picked up. And this is why it's really important to have a good planning consultant. And if you watch the video on the power team, I talk a bit more about that. And he said that looking at what the inspector is saying here, what we can do is, apply for planning uh, using paragraph 79. If you don't know much about paragraph 79, have a look online, Google it, and yeah, you'll find out how that works because I'm not a planning consultant, it's not my thing, so I'd rather not talk about something uh, which is in my expertise. But in a nutshell, it's basically building a house in an isolated location. And this pretty much is an isolated location because it's got about six or eight other people living there, small village, uh, so it meets the criteria. We applied for planning uh, and then we had to go through uh, something called the Design Council uh, for them to agree that this was a house of an exceptional design. Anyway, we had two meetings with them which were quite costly and in the end uh, they agreed, well in the end they thought the house was of an exceptional design because we use a really fantastic architect and I'll give him a shout out on a, another video, in fact I might even interview him uh, so you can hear from him, fantastic uh, firm uh, and it's a beautiful design. and. Uh, with that, in fact, what, what, what we'll do is we'll include one of the photos in this video uh, right about now, so you can see the design. So as you've seen, it's a really fantastic design. And the uh, design council thought the landscaping wasn't quite right. We did make those changes, they, they, they still weren't happy. We went back to the council, uh, worked with the head of planning, and he felt uh, the landscape was pretty decent, so he su supported the application. It went through uh, to the planning co committee, unfortunately, and uh, the planning committee decided in favour of the application, so it went through. The point I'm trying to make to you is this. When you're, bad, when you're doing property deals, don't go in blind. Make sure you do your research. Even if somebody recommends them to you who you know very well and you regard them, still do all of your homework uh, to make sure everything's fine. But more importantly than that, things are going to go wrong. You're going to make mistakes. You might buy a property which is really bad, uh, or you might buy something overseas, which I don't do nowadays. I did do that once, by the way, uh, which is a different story for a different video. And uh, you just got to persevere. And if you persevere, uh, you will find, more often than not, you find a way around it. 
and you also got to pay your entry fee when you come going to business or, or and also into property and that entry fee is the mistakes you make and how costly they are anyhow coming back to my story uh, we got planning and we're in the process of selling that particular property so hopefully somebody will buy it and whoever buys it will have a beautiful beautiful uh, house to live in uh, and it's probably worth about two million pounds when it's fully done up but it is out of this world it is a one-off piece uh, so when you're in property don't be afraid to make mistakes don't be afraid to try things uh, and when they when they go wrong not only are you going to learn from them you're never going to repeat those mistakes again uh, but it's going to smarten you up as well and if you if you persevere you will find a route out of your problems uh, and that happens very often and I thought it was important to share that with you to give you the confidence to go out there and try stuff because if you do if you do try try stuff you're gonna make it work